Have you ever tried to connect to your VPS server only to receive the SSH connection refused error message? Well, you're not alone. This common error indicates that your SSH server fails to accept connections. In this video, we'll look at six ways on how we can resolve it. So let's get started. The first thing to check might be a no-brainer, but we should begin by checking if the SSH service is actually running. To check, open up your server's terminal. You can access it from HPanel, so just select VPS from the main menu and click Manage next to the server. Hit Browser Terminal and enter your login credentials when the new tab opens. Once you're there, it's time to run the command that performs the check. If you use Debian 12 or Ubuntu 24.04, then run this command. If you're using CentOS 9, you'll need to enter this command instead. If it's shown as down, you can restart by running this command. It's also possible that the daemon just isn't installed. Sorting that out is easy, so just run this command. Then start the service by running the following command. Now, if you've made sure that the SSH daemon is installed but it's not active, even after restarting it, it might be improperly configured. So, run the command to check the status once again. Now, query the system to output the reason for the issues. Does it state something like permissions being too open or that your private keys are required not to be accessible by others? Well, if that's the case, reset your SSH configuration. To do that, go to the VPS settings from HPanel and hit reset on the appropriate line. If the SSH service is running and you still can't access it, the port might be the culprit. By default, SSH uses the port 22. In some cases, the port could be changed or blocked. This might be likely if you've not used it in a while and it was closed for security reasons. So run this command to check for ports listening to requests. You should receive an output similar to this one. If something's wrong, there might not be any ports open for SSH or they might be indicated as down. It's a good idea to change the SSH port, even if your standard port 22 is open. That should resolve the SSH connection refused error and greatly improved security. Here's how to do it. Run this command to access the SSH configuration file. Scroll down until you find the line that includes port 22. Remove the hash to enable this line and change 22 to your desired port number, such as 61189. Save the changes by pressing Ctrl X on Windows or Command X on Mac and confirm the decision when prompted. All that's left to do is to update the port in your local machine's SSH client. So open it up and run this command. Make sure you don't forget to get rid of the brackets. The server will start using the new SSH port after the reboot. Are you still having issues? Well, no problem. Let's check if your firewall is tampering with the SSH connection. Each panel user can simply go to their VPS dashboard, choose security and click on firewall. Select the three dots in your active firewall and hit edit. Check the rules below. Make sure the SSH protocol is enabled and that the ports you set up for it are not blocked. If you discover the issue, edit the rule. If you use UFW or IP tables as your firewall, the process is a bit different. If you have IP tables running, check the firewall rule by running the following command. Does it show a reject or drop on your SSH port settings? If so, change the value to accept. Save the changes, exit the file, and run this command. Okay, so what if you've done all that and you're still getting the error? Well, sometimes the simplest solution is the right one. What I mean is that you need to make sure your SSH client is actually installed on your local machine. Linux and Mac users should have SSH already integrated into their terminals, but if you're using Windows, you should have an SSH client like PuTTY. The check is simple. Open your terminal and run SSH. If you receive a message saying that the command is not found, then there is your issue. If the client is missing for any reason, installing it is simple. In fact, the command is similar to what we've already used when checking if SSH is running. Here it is for Linux users. If you need to reinstall SSH on your Mac, it's best to do it via Homebrew. If you don't have that already, you can get the Homebrew package from here. So download it and install it. When you're done, this is the terminal command to reinstall SSH. Finally, Windows users can download and install the most popular SSH client PuTTY from here. Run the setup and go through the wizard. Once that's taken care of, just open PuTTY's configuration window and enter your SSH credentials. You can find them on HPanel's VPS overview page. Well, at this point, you really should not be having the SSH connection refused error. But if you still are, there's one more thing that could be causing it, and that's the wrong credentials being used. 
To double check them, log into HPanel and select VPS from the left tab. From your server list, verify the SSH access column. It will feature the IP address you should be using when establishing the connection. Copy the IP address, open the terminal and run the ping command with the address. You should see a list of successful data exchanges appearing. Alternatively, you can run traceroute in a similar fashion. If there's an exchange of data, you're good to go. When you're satisfied with the results, press Ctrl C or Command C to kill the process. And there you have it. I hope one of the solutions helped sort out your problem. Leave a comment about which method worked for you and also remember to check out the special deal on VPS hosting down in the description below the video. If you found the video helpful, leave us a like and consider subscribing to our channel for more videos like this one. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.